to play a game? Do you even have to ask? Of course I want to play a game. Okay, this game is called I Dare You Not to Laugh. And the point of the game is to try to think of funny things to make the other person laugh. And if you're able to keep a straight face without laughing, then you win. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, right. I'll go first. Let's see if you can withstand the silliness. I dare you not to laugh. I encourage you not to giggle. Do you think you can be serious? No smiling, not a little. I dare you not to chuckle. Oh, over here. Look at this funny giraffe. I dare you not to laugh. Oh, you never give me a laugh, Jack. I'm completely serious. Oh, yeah? How about a platypus wearing a tutu? This pickle has like a horse. An elephant riding a surfboard. And this bubble be eating s'mores. A kitty cat getting a haircut. This big thing in her bath. A monkey doing cock will lie. Dare you not to laugh. Okay, you got me. I guess I lost that round. But let's see if you can resist my ridiculous hilarity. Bring it on, Dot. I got my giggles out. I'm in serious zone now. I dare you not to laugh. I charge you not to giggle. If you think you can be serious, no smiling, not a little. I dare you not to chuckle. Oh, ho, ho, he, ha, ha. I don't be making a graph. I dare you not to laugh. I'm ready. You'll and get no laughs from me. Oh, yeah? What about a hedgehog doing his taxes? This lion reading a book. And a gerbil teaching art class. This frog is just like a cook. A dolphin learning the skateboard. This merman chops like a shoes. A hair has a dolphin in half. I dare you not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You got me with the half and half cut. <laughs> I guess we're tied. What do you say we do a lightning round, huh? Oh, you're all jazz. A zebra playing the guitar. There's a panda singing the blues. Fish performing Shakespeare. This wiener dog reading the news. I'm the news. An alligator ordering pizza. This beer cat riding a bike. A kill on the following line. This hippo flying a kite. I dare you not to laugh. I dare you not to giggle. Do you think you can be serious?
Stone Cold. Every time you're with every guy, I'm an old cow and come with me. I never regret on every street. It's a cowboy's life for me. It's a cowboy's life for me. Right. Cowboys and cowboys over here in the Wild West. And it's fun. What do you think, Miss Wally? Uh-oh. Oh, I love to be a cowboy. Nothing I wouldn't be instead. With my feather bow and my amethyst and a flower pot on my head. I play with dolls, the whole kind of skills. I wear a yellow shawl. And I look so fine on a porcupine. It's a cowboy's life for me. Uh, Pasquale, yeah, do you know, you know what a cowboy does? Do I know what a cowboy does? <laughs> of course. I can guarantee you he does not. As a cowboy, I grant wishes with my sparkling magic wand. What? And I hop on my little cat and tail and I hide the eggs on your log. Pasquale, I bring that into my branches. In the fall, I lose my knees. Wait, 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 wait. Stop the music. Pasquale, that's ridiculous. What do you mean, Dad? What do I mean? Look at your outfit. You've got oven mitts on and a flower pot on your head. You're holding a wand and you've got a big trunk on your nose. It's a cowboy song, Pasquale. Excuse me, Mouse. Hey, Pasquale. Come on, we're late for the cowboy convention. Hey, Mouse. That's a silly outfit. What are you supposed to play? Um, I, I have no idea. Well, well, good luck with that. Let's go, guys. Let me tell you when we were kidding. I'm an old cowboy, come with me. I never went around in the streets. Cowboys life for me. Ah, I know I know. It's time for some jokes, some jokes from Pasquale. It's time for some jokes, some jokes from Pasquale. Some jokes from Pasquale. Hi, everyone. It's time once again for some cheesy jokes from D and Roddy. And Roddy, too. Okay. Okay. Well, take it away, guys. Hello. It's so good to be back here to tell some more ha, ha, hilarious jokes. And it is such an honor to be here to show everyone my mastery of the comedic art. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's been a while since I've had someone to tell jokes with. Uh, Jasper runs the other way whenever he sees me with a microphone. Oh, not me, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> I love I jokes. Love you know, I was a headlining act back in my magical dimension. Well, what? I'm so excited to have you here, Ronnie, that I'm going to call this Jokes from Past Ronnie. <laughs> well, pretty good, Chef Man, but it doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Mm -hmm. Ah! How about a sophisticated evening of humor with Ronaldo Sagittarian? <laughs> oh, uh, and also Pasquale is there, too. Yeah, well, on second thought, uh, why mess with a classic? Uh, now, how about we tell some jokes? Ooh, yeah. What do you call a cyclone that puts you to sleep? Uh, a sleepy... Cyclone, yes. <laughs> Let me finish. You call it a bornado. <laughs> you get it, Ronnie? A bornado. <laughs> it's a oh so boring. <sighs> well, back in my dimension, they would have loved sleepy cyclone. But that's not a joke. Well, I beg to disagree, Squally. Say, how about I tell you a lovely little laugh a root for my act? Sure. Let's hear it, Ronnie. Okay. Knock, knock. Oh, I love these. 
Who's there? Don't come in. No, I'm busy. Um, don't come in. I'm busy. Who? Busy? No, really. No, really. I'm busy. I'm busy. Go away. Away. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. If you're in the house, why were you knocking? <laughs> well, that's the joke, my good man. <laughs> you know, you just might get this comedy thing after all. After all? I, I don't... I, I, I don't even understand. Uh, okay, how about this one? What startles birds and never blinks? Oh, um... Oh, I got it. A scarecrow. <laughs> Not a scarecrow, but a scarecrow. That's very good, Ronnie. Huh? No, I was going to say my old neighbor, Monica. Wow, you couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> Monica was so funny. Uh, how is that a joke? Well, Monica never blinks, so, you know, it, it's funny. It's funny. Oh, wow. Would you look at the time? <laughs> yeah, I've got band rehearsal to make, and I'm sure you've got somewhere to be. Well, let me know next time you need an excellent comedian to join you. Now I know how Jasper feels. Yeah. Learning new things every day. <laughs> hey, 
Chucky, do you want to hear something else something I else? learned? Well, sure. sure. Hawaii are the islands in the ocean Pacific. Right. Away from lava monsters that are so horrific. Uh, I don't think... Hawaii's got big waves and lots of surfing guys. Lava monsters and the surfers, they invented apple pies. Hawaii has some islands with lots of stuff to see. People, animals, and places, but no creatures quite like me. So many things that I have learned about the earth so true. From Mr. Bunch to a purple planet point, point of view. So, so Munch, Hooper, again, again, I think you might have a few of your facts wrong. wrong. Oh, what do you mean, Jazz? You are right about there being surfers in Hawaii. Right. right? But there are no lava monsters. And I'm pretty sure apple pies were not invented by monsters or even surfers. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Lava monsters in Hawaii? I wonder who invented apple pies. Oh, wow. Well. Penguins are cute birds that are not able to fly. True, they come from another dimension and like to eat fresh fries. Penguins like cold weather and they can swim really fast. Swim 88 miles per hour and time travel to the past. Earth is a real big planet with lots of stuff to see. People, animals, and places, but no creatures quite like me. So many things that I have learned about the Earth so true. From this branch to you, a purple planet point of view. Oh, uh, Hooper. Okay. okay. What did I get wrong okay. this time? Well, well penguins are birds, birds that cannot fly, and they, and they do and like they cold weather. Cold weather. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But they and don't they come from another dimension. dimension. They don't they eat french fries, fries, and they definitely do not time, time travel, travel if they swim 88 ever. miles per hour. Well, I guess I still have a lot to learn about Earth. That's okay, Munch. We all do. There is so much to learn about this planet that we all live on. Nobody can know everything. So you don't need to feel bad. How about I buy you a pizza? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Why you the pizza? I mean, it is your place. Well, yeah, I, but I do get a discount. Oh, good. Oh, good. All that time traveling has made me hungry. I wonder if they have any French fries here. Chucky e. Cheese presents Tales of Friendship with Jasper with Jasper here. here right? Oh boy. Just wait it's till you hear my tale today. Oh, I've heard your tale. It goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. But that's only when you're really happy. <laughs> I am really starting to regret what we named this segment. Anyway, today's story really illustrates how friends help each other out when they're in a jam. It all started when Chucky and I were backstage rehearsing. It seemed like we'd been rehearsing for hours when Chucky said, It seems like we've been rehearsing for hours. Let's take a break. I agree and set my bass on the floor against a chair when suddenly it fell. I picked it up to find that a tuning peg had snapped clean off. Always use instrument stands, folks. I said, Oh no, we have to play a show tonight. What am I going to do? And Chuck said, Don't worry, Jasper. I have some tools and glue and pig frosted donuts. Wait, how is a donut going to fix your bass? No, that's not part of the story. That's just Ronnie. Who wants to share in the sweet goodness? Me, me, me. Not right now, Ronnie. right now, Ronnie. I'm in the middle of telling a story about how friends help each other. Ooh, I love stories. Continue, my furry friend. Okay, where was I? Um... Chuck had a donut. No, wait. That's not right. Um, oh, goody. This is one of those flashbacky things. Let me try. Uh, Jasper suddenly fell out of his chair. And then Chucky said, blah, blah, blah. I'm a mouse. Hi, hi, hi. Blip, blip, blip. And look at his mouth move. Too funny. Blip, 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 blip. 
news. Will you stop, Will you that? stop that? I'm trying okay, to tell a story about, about friends about helping each other. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay. I didn't realize okay, that your story was so upsetting to you. I'm intrigued. Please continue, my fuzzy little pop. So, where was I? Uh, you had just fallen out of your chair. Were you hurt? No. Oh, good. No, I mean, oh, never mind. Chuck said, just let me go get my tools and I'll fix your base in half a jiff. So then I said, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Jess, I didn't know you could tap dance. I can't tap dance. Ronnie! What? Listening, a uh, great story. It's got everything. everything. Thrills, mystery, romance. Uh, romance. No, no, it's a simple story about friends helping each other. Uh, I'm confused. What happened to Chucky's Donut? Uh oh, friend. Oh, friend? Looks like you're losing your audience. Let me help you out. What? So then. Wait, what's happening? what's happening? Jasper stopped dancing, and Chuck fixed Jasper's trumpet. Uh, Jasper said, thanks, old bean. And Chuck said, you're welcome. I'm a little mouse. Oh, wow. and suddenly, a mad scientist, Dr. Destructenheimer, ran in with his singularity device and shouted, And now to destroy the universe. Just then, Ronnie flew and using his sparkle rainbow powers, he grabbed the device, flew into space, and threw it into the sun. The universe. And that's how Ronnie helped his good friend Jasper well, tell a story. Tell a story. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Wow! What a terrific story all about friends helping friends. This might be my favorite story of yours ever, Jasper. Gee, thanks. Who's a good boy? I think it's pretty cool. 